Hey everybody, welcome to another episode in the Lens Wizard Lightroom series as we move through 2K17. So today in Lightroom I want to talk about HSL, U Saturation and Luminance, and we are in the Develop module. And you can get, if you're not in Develop, you can simply get there by clicking the keyboard shortcut of D. So as a side note, take notice that all of my panels are closed. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a tip that will help you work in a much neater fashion that will keep the panels that you're not using closed and only keep open the one that you need at the moment. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Use saturation and luminance. Click on the bar there. It opens it up gives you a drop down and you see you got U, saturation, luminance and you have all. If we click on all, all it does is it stacks them on top of each other, which lets you see them all. Quite honestly, personally, I don't work this way. I like to work on just one panel at a time. So with that said, let's go over here and click on U. Now let's look at our image. We have this beautiful model one and she is holding the color checker okay and i chose this image uh well it's a beautiful model but really i want to look at those colors because we're dealing with saturation in you and all that so let's zoom in on the colors and let's just look and see what's going on so just we're going to go in here we're just playing right now so let's move our red slider back and forth and we can see in that color palette anything that has red in it. It doesn't just affect the red when it affects anything that has red. Okay, and it's also, if you notice up here, it's affecting her lips. Well, her lips have red because they naturally are pink, but she was wearing a little bit of lipstick that day. So you can kind of see what that does. And you can go down through here and play and see those blues or several blues there that it's affecting and you know the greens now you notice the green grass that is behind her that's blurred out of course but still it's there the color it's affecting that so that, that's just playing around and seeing quite honestly I don't use you that much in my edits for the most part I will use saturation and luminance Okay, so another tip, just to clear everything back to zero, go over top of the word U, double click, and there it resets everything. So when you are playing around, you can reset everything very simply by doing that. Let's click on saturation. And you know, saturation obviously kind of self-explanatory. It saturates or desaturates. I mean, that's about as simple as that gets. But with that said, maybe her lips are too red maybe her skin is too orange we do know that the skin is made up of orange right and it could even be made up of yellow so if i wanted to edit the skin i i'm going to kind of guess at is it made up of orange yes red possibly and possibly yellow but i'm not really sure so how i can be sure is let me zero that out if i go over here and i pick up this little thing whatever this icon is it's it's an up and down arrow with a dot click on that and when you move it it gives you your tool now let's go to her skin and let's go to an area that I would say I want to make this skin I want to desaturate it a little bit I want to make her look more lighter color so I would hold left click and hold down and start scrolling down or moving my mouse not scrolling but moving the mouse and you notice what it's doing to her skin but look over here at the adjustments and you can see yes that that particular part of her skin is made up of red and orange but more orange than red and it's moving them accordingly and if I go the other way it moves them moves them accordingly so with that said, let's light it, lighten her skin a little bit. Let's desaturate it, okay? Now, luminance. Luminance, really, the, the title for it should be lighten and darken. Now, what we did here in saturation was not really lightening and darkening. We just took color away, okay? So if we take all the color away, it goes to a black and white. It doesn't really lighten or darken the image. But if we go over to luminance 
and we still have our picker tool selected if we go to the same area we've desaturated but if we go down we darken and now I'm moving my mouse down so you know and if I move the mouse up I'm lightening so I think you can see by this point how this can really help you adjusting skin tones to be correct where they should be in a previous uh, video I talked about teeth whitening and I talked about how while making the teeth started out white in the raw file and while making an edit in Photoshop the edit came out fine but it added a color cast to my teeth so saturation and luminance could possibly help in that so I hope this helps you out and lets you see your options when it comes to saturation and luminance and I am going to give you the keyboard shortcut to get uh, let's see let's close this panel up to get into just say saturation it's a big shortcut this is going to be control shift alt s boom opens up the panel and it also gives me my gives me my picker just what I want and if my panel was closed and I wanted to go to just luminosity, it would be control shift alt letter L puts me in luminosity and it puts me with my picker. And obviously control shift alt H would give me U. So there's your keyboard shortcuts. And I hope this kind of sheds some light onto how you can adjust different things like a lot of times I would go in maybe denim blue jeans blue jeans are very easily adjusted by you can saturate them or desaturate them uh, I use it a lot for that I use it a lot for skin tones uh, sometimes on hair but sometimes in landscaping with grass uh, sunlight can sometimes put too much yellow in the grass and the leaves and I want to darken them a little bit so it can use it in a lot of places you can use it on people you can use it on landscapes um, just about anything and if I wanted to even on this white if I wanted to find out what this is made of I can see it's made of purple purple and magenta and I can make her her garment there a lot lighter but now what you have to know, and this is the one big thing, when you adjust one thing, it adjusts anything else in the image that has that color. Let's zero out, make sure we're zeroed out over here in luminance, and let's look at our color checker, come in, and a perfect example was where we started with the red. So if I go over here and I put my picker right on the color checker and on the red palette and I desaturate well it's desaturating that but it's also desaturating her lips so that is the one thing to keep in mind that these adjustments are global they, they are global and if you wanted to just desaturate something by itself I would suggest using the adjustment brush or um, possibly the radial filter or something like that Okay, so enough of that. I think that kind of gives an, a good overview of what this panel is about, the HSL. Now, we didn't cover into color, and we didn't cover into the black and white. We'll do those another day. That's for another tutorial. But now, what I said, I was going to show you a, a tip at the end on how to keep one panel open and another and all the rest of the panels closed. So right now, if I open detail as you noticed HSL closed and if I open basic it closed detail everything it only lets me open one at a time what you do is go onto the black bar on any one of these black bars and just right click and you want to have solo mode checked see if I uncheck solo mode now I can open all of them and you know I used to work like this for a long time but I was constantly scrolling through uh, looking to see well you know where where am I where am I I'm constantly going up and down and there is the, it's not a keyboard shortcut but there is a, a thing that will help you just keep open one panel at a time 
and you can see where the rest and with keyboard shortcuts you can go from basic to saturation with control alt shift s and there it is okay everybody thanks so much for watching and click like click subscribe and come back again there's going to be more free and i do emphasize free lightroom tutorials all through 2017. check me out on instagram lens wizard facebook reckless pixel have a great day everybody